Let's end the um, invocation and we're gonna just take a moment of silence. Thank you. Would the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Madam President. Councilor Codwell. Present. Councilor Green. Here. Councilor Peniagua. Here. Councilor Gathers. Present. Councilor Schultz. Here. Councilor Hogan. Here. Councilor Machoke. Here. Councilor Allen. Here. Councilor Driscoll. Here. All present. Thank you. Um, may I have a motion to approve the minutes of the January 10th meeting? Oh. And I have a second. Second. Please call the roll. Councillor Codwell. Yes. Councillor Green. Yes. Councillor Paniagua. Yes. Councillor Gathers. Yes. Councillor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Machol. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Um, Madam President, um, I don't know if you're looking at the um, at um, the latest agenda, but there's an organization meeting that need to be approved also. All right. Okay. May I have a motion for approval of the January 5th organizational meeting? I move. Second. Second. Please call the roll. Okay. Councillor Cotwell? Yes. Councillor Green? Yes. Councillor Paniagua? Was that a yes? Councillor Paniagua? Yes. <laughs> Councillor <laughs> Gathers? Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councillor Hogan? Yes. Councillor Mitchell? Yes. Councillor Allen? Yes. And Councillor Driscoll? Yes. All righty. Are there any petitions? No. Are there any committee reports? Are there any communications? Yes, there is, Madam President. I have um, one from um, the city auditor, Native Maroon, um, for a uh, report of the city of Syracuse cash investment audit October 1st to um, June 30th, 2021. I have two from Josh Sullivan, um, septin, a letter septin in terms and conditions of council ordinance for number um, 71421 and 75221. And I have one from another one, uh, letter except in terms and conditions. Uh, yeah, terms and conditions uh, for council ordinance from Chris Vernon. And that's ordinance um, 752, 2021. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, Councillor Green. Thank you, Madam President. Item 8A will be out. Thank you. Item 8A is being held. I have item nine, and I would like to introduce it and urge its adoption. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Thank you, Madam President. Councillor Codwell? Yes. Councillor Green? Yes. Councillor Peniagua? Yes. Councillor Gathers? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councilor Hogan? Yes. Councilor Machol? Yes. Councilor Allen? Yes. Councilor Driscoll? Yes. Great. Right. Item accepted with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Councilor Driscoll. Thank you, Madam President. I have item 10. Um, and I'd like to introduce it and strongly encourage its support. Thank you. Item 10. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell? Yes. Councilor Green? Yes. Councilor Paniagua? Yes. Councilor Gathers? Yes. Councilor Schultz? 
Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Machoke. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Okay, the item passes with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Councilor Green. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam President. I have items 11 through 15. Item 11 is ready. I'd like to introduce it and urge its adoption. Item 12 will be held. Item 13 is ready. I'd like to introduce it and urge its adoption. Item 14 will be held. And item 15 is ready. I'd like to introduce it. Thank you. Item 11. Are there any objections? Discussion? Yeah, Madam President, I'd like to just say a few words if, if I could. Yes. Uh, thank you, Madam President, for the chance to say a few words before this item. Obviously, this has been a very <coughs> controversial item, and as it's in my district, uh, many of the uh, concerns of the citizens have, have uh, you know, they filled all our inboxes, but I feel a particular need to respond to some of them as the district counselor. Uh, one of the constituents that I heard that, that uh, requested that we ensure that uh, the university would not have overreach in this agreement and that if they wanted to mow the lawn or clear that, that they would have to speak to the city to get clearance for any of those. And I'm not a lawyer, but as I understand this agreement, that is exactly what we have ensured. Uh, also, as Councillor Peniagua brought to our attention, this is a five-year agreement that can be negotiated. Um, for people who are saying that we we really shouldn't rush it, um, the first Syracuse.com article where this was brought to the city's attention was the first week of October. Um, it's been October, November, December, and we're now at the end of January. So I, I don't feel we have rushed this. There's been multiple reiterations of it. Um, and I just want to say to all the people that have reached out, I definitely have not taken uh, the concerns of the community lightly. Um, uh, and I've, you know, tried to do my best to do my research and, and ensure that the uh, the autonomy and and um, you know the authority over Thornton Park remains with the city as I understand it in this agreement. And um, you know, I think we've held this since uh, since October, and these groups like Umpan and SAC and others uh, need to get on with with doing the work for the community. So uh, I that's why I'll be voting in favor of this. And I just want to say thanks to all the people in my district who are so passionate about this park. Um, and I, I don't take the, the decision lightly. Uh, I, I definitely value their opinion and thoughts on this as well, uh, but feel confident that we will maintain authority over the park as the city. So uh, just want to say that piece to acknowledge the, the concerns of the citizens and know that they have not been ignored. Thank you. I would like to say a few words as well, Madam President. Yes, sir. <laughs> So as, as a, a third district counselor, I also have um, some of my constituents as well that have raised concern about the contract. Um, I agree with uh, Councilor Driscoll. Um, you know, we we are the eyes here and, and I'm gonna be voting yes. And part of the reason I'm gonna be voting yes is that, you know, as somebody that ha has been in the city for a while, in terms of uh, uh, its operation, I recognize that when this contract came, I was I was I was here, and I I I saw the agreement. I think it's important to recognize that SU, as an institution in our community, has stepped up while other organizations decide not to do it. You know, uh, the intention that ASHU has, while we don't know what future holds, it's important to recognize what is in front of us. And that is ASHU has made sure as, as a partner in the community, you know, to, 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 pay, to pay its share as a responsible, responsible stakeholder in our community. Uh, so that is commendable. And the second part here, just to increase a, la a label of transparency for our community, is that uh, personally uh, with the administration, I have asked that uh, an annual report be given to the public and to the council uh, in, in terms of the permits that are pulled uh, around Thornton Park. Uh, so that's one. The second part, the request that I have made as well, and, and the administration has agreed and is working on making sure that uh, 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 the logistics are in place, is is for SU to continue to invest in our youth. Uh, if there's a, any way that our youth can do work at Thornton Park and 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 
and be paid and be engaged. That part as well, uh, I'm for it. And I'm gonna be voting for this item because I think overall it's good for our community. Thank and you. And President, if I could yes, share ma also, thank you both Councilors Driscoll and Majuk. Um, I think it's important for everybody to share um, the information, certainly when it comes to the constituents who have clearly voiced their opinion. And while I can respect Councilor Driscoll that you have constituents in the area to be affected, um, so do other councilors. So I think it's important to, to realize that all of us have a vote and we all have considered um, the constituents standpoint from it. And, and most of us have grown up here and lived here all of our lives. So certainly have lived the whole experience of, of the whole area of Syracuse University. I wanna commend Syracuse University for offering resources to the city to help maintain. Obviously it's a big job and, and money is, is tight these days and has been for quite a while. So I appreciate that. I appreciate all the work that the commissioners have done um, in the parks department and operations level and neighborhood business development because you know none of this is easy. There's a lot of emotion that goes into all of this. So you know, totally respect everybody at the table here. Um, but I'll be voting no today because this contract is very unclear. It's loaded with statements that um, just you can't understand them easily. And I think because it's so detailed, we need to understand those details. Um, both as a council, the community needs to understand it, the city needs to understand it, and this just doesn't provide that clarity. Really quick question, Councilor Driscoll, you mentioned in your statement that um, this five-year agreement can be negotiated, and I wasn't sure if you meant during the five years that it covers, or you mean after it's over. No, at the end of the five years, this, this agreement requires five years, so many have said, and I, I mentioned that only to address the concern that some said that once we make this agreement, uh, there's absolutely no way to walk it back or to, you know, once we, you know, the, the, the comments I've gotten from my constituents is once we give SU access to Thornton Park, we'll never be able to retract that decision. This uh, service agreement comes up for renewal every five years. So while we will not be able to renegotiate it throughout this five year period, at the end of that five year period, we always have the option to say, okay, when we come back to this and look at it in five years, uh, we can change this agreement. Uh, you know, I, I think like, Council Paniagua said, uh, giving it a five year trial period to see how it operates, I think is, you know, uh, more what I referred to, but to your point, yes, after it's, it's dealt with, it will be in the agreement for five years and will not be able to be changed until the agreement comes up for renewal in five. Okay, great. Thanks for clarifying. So lastly, I will be voting. No, I think it should be at least 2 contracts and we need more clarity. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Any more. Conversation. Uh, President Hudson, if I could just uh, speak a few words, and God knows there's been enough words spoken about this, as uh, Council Driscoll pointed out, and I want to thank my fellow counselors for their interest in this. But as a long-time 34-year 30, uh, employee of the City Parks Department, I think your last name is pronounced Gathers. First um, you need to mute. <laughs> um, 34 year employee of the city parks department. It's pretty clear and I want to commend the administration regarding this. It's pretty clear that the city has not given up any sovereignty over the Thorn Park. It is uh, only the only improvements that can be made on behalf of the Syracuse University will have to be expressly approved by the Commissioner of Parks and Recreation. It states that in the legislation. I also, uh, having been a frequent critic of Syracuse University in the past, I want to commend them because uh, unlike other large tax exempt organizations, as Councilman Majux pointed out, they have stepped out and made this agreement. It states back to Mayor Meyer's uh, term that uh, that they will uh, support city services and recognition recognition of the obligation they have as a as a neighbor and, and, and as a large employer here in the city of Syracuse. So I want to commend them, and I want to commend the administration, and uh, certainly our city parks department. Uh, I. I look forward to their collaboration with Syracuse University and the upkeep of this very important city park. Thank you. Any more discussion? With that being none, would the clerk please call the roll? Thank you, Mr. President. Councilor uh, Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Githers. No. Is that the way you pronounce your name? That is correct. Gathers, yes. <laughs> Councilor Schultz. No. 
Councillor Hogan. Yes. Councillor Mitchell. Yes. Councillor Allen. No. Councillor Drisco. Yes. Okay, the item passes with a vote of seven to two. Thank you. That was know. that was three no's. That's, yeah, three no's. Who, who said I have? Was that you got uh, Councillor Gathers? Yes, you have Gathers, Schultz, and uh, Allen. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, thanks. Six to three. Thank you. Thank you. Item 12 is being held. Item 13. Is there any discussion? Objection? Discussion? Please call the roll. Okay, Councillor Cotwell. Yes. Councillor Green. Yes. Councillor Paniagua. Yes. Councillor Gathers. Yes. Councillor Schultz. Yes. Councillor Hogan. Yes. Councillor Mitchell. Yes. Councillor Allen. Yes. Councillor Driscoll. Yes. The item passes with an unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 14 is being held. Item 15. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councillor Codwell. Yes. Councillor Green. Yes. Councillor Paniagua. Yes. Councillor Gathers. Yes. Councillor Schultz. Yes. Councillor Hogan. Yes. Councillor Mitchell. Councillor Mitchell. Yes. Councillor Allen. Yes. Yes. Councillor Drisco. Yes. I don't pass the vote. Thank you. Councillor <laughs> Hogan. Uh, thank you, President Hudson. I'd like to introduce and uh, urge the adoption of item 16. Thank you. Item 16. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councillor Codwell. Yes. Councillor Green. Yes. Councillor Paniagua. Yes. Councillor Gathers. Yes. Councillor Schultz. Yes. Councillor Hogan. Yes. Councillor Mitchell. Yes. Councillor Allen. Yes. Councillor Driscoll. Yes. The item passed with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Councillor Mitchell. Thank you, Madam President. I have items 17, 18, and 19. I would like to introduce them and urge their adoption. Thank you. Item 17. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councillor Codwell. Yes. Councillor Green. Yes. Councillor Paniagua. Yes. Councillor Gathers. Yes. Councillor Schultz. Yes. Councillor Hogan. Yes. Councillor Allen. Yes. Councillor Driscoll. Yes. I don't pass with any name. I have a vote too, don't I? Didn't I call you? No, you didn't. Councilor <laughs> Mitchell, I'm yes. leaving you out there. I'm glad y'all paid attention because you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, I don't pass with any name vote. Thank you. Item 18, are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. <laughs> Councilor Driscoll. I was like, yes. yes. No, I, I couldn't I get it. You. Okay. <laughs> Councilor Driscoll. Yes. All right, the item passed with the unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 19, are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councillor Codwell? Yes. Councillor Green? Yes. Councillor Paniagua? Yes. Councillor Gathers? Yes. Councillor Schultz? 
Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Machoke. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passed with a unanimous vote. Thank you, Councilor Allen. Thank you. I have items 20, 21, and 22. Uh, item 22 will be held for a committee meeting this Wednesday at noon, and items 20 and 21 are ready. I would like to introduce them and urge their adoption. Thank you. You're welcome. Item 20. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Machoke. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passes with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 21. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passed with a unanimous vote. Thank you. And item 22 is being held. Councilor Driscoll. Thank you, Madam President. I have items 23 through 34. I would like to hold items 23 and 24. Um, all the other items I would like to introduce and urge their approval. Thank you. Item 23 is being held. Item 24 is being held. Item 25, are there any objections? Discussion. Please call the roll. Yes, Madam President. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. <clears throat> yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Item passes with unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 26. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Yes. Councilor, Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Oh, the item passed with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Item 27. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Pinagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Thank you. The item passes with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 28. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. An emphatic yes. <laughs> Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Uh, slightly less emphatic yes. It's still an emphatic yes, but just, just slightly <laughs> less enthusiastic. <laughs> the item passes with the end of this vote. Thank you. Item 29. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. 
Yes. <laughs> Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Peniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Machoke. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passes with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 30. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Peniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. And Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Item passes with a unanimous vote. Item 31. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Peniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Macho. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passed with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 32. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passes with a unanimous vote. Thank you. Item 33. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Machoke. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. The item passed with a unanimous vote. Item 34. Are there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Paniagua. Yes. Councilor Gathers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Driscoll. Yes. Item passes with unanimous vote. Thank you. Councilor Green. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, um, yes. you have to motion for the going to the supplement, accept the supplement agenda. Yep. So I, I'd like to make a motion to waive the okay. case to introduce item 35. Thank you. I need a second. Need a second. Second. Seconded. Call the roll, please. All right, Councilor Codwell. Yes. Councilor Green. Yes. Councilor Peniagua. Yes. Councilor Githers. Yes. Councilor Schultz. Yes. Councilor Hogan. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor Allen. Yes. Councilor Mitchell. Yes. Councilor, did I? Okay, so Councilor Driscoll. Yes, I think I screwed up, but anyway, I got everyone. Uh, I don't pass. You got you got you got my job twice, but that's all right. Uh, no, this time I got him twice. She I got him making up, she making up for what she I'm missed flipping, earlier. I'm flipping papers, you know. <laughs> I don't pass with a unanimous vote. Thank you, President Hudson. Well, you want two votes? Move. You still have to vote on. <laughs> Thank you. Now you have to move it, Michael. Yeah. So now I'd like to introduce item thirty-five. Thank you, item thirty-five. Any, is there any objections? Discussion? Please call the roll. Councillor Codwell. Yes. Councillor Green. 
Yes. Pastor yes. Penny Aqua. Yes. Pastor Gathers. Yes. Pastor Schultz. Yes. Pastor Hogan. Yes. Pastor Mitchell. Yes. Pastor Allen. Yes. Pastor Trisco. Yes. Item passed with anonymous vote. Thank you. Thank you. We have now concluded the meeting. May I have a, a, a motion to adjourn? So moved. May I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Have a great day. Thank you, President. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye.